Greetings from Wood Turning with Dick. Lenore has kindly asked me to build her a table with turn legs. She has deliveries all the time with massive cardboard boxes. So I said to her, build me a scale model of the exact dimensions of what you want. Now I'm feeling a little bit cheeky. So when she gave me this little, little scale model of the table, I'm thinking, hmm, do you know what? Just for funsies, I'm going to build it exactly like she gave me. <laughs> right, so four slats on the top. I'm going to decide what thickness I want those. I want. She wanted like a, a farmhouse style table. So this sort of thickness would do for the slats on top. Just inside that cardboard measurement. So that's dandy. Legs. Height wise, I'm almost bang on. It's a millimetre too tall. It's redwood, by the way. Slats, legs, which I'll trim down by a millimetre in a moment because I want to make it exactly the same. I've got my, I forget what you call them, the in-betweeny bits. And bosh, we've got an upside down table. The fun thing is going to be presenting it to her, which I will film for you. Just got some 320 grit down there. It's a bit dusty, a little bit of bog oak dust on it. I just want to tidy up the edges. A lot of this won't matter because it's getting turned away. But the top, very top corner isn't. So I want to tidy that up a little bit and tidy up any little uh, little bits of whatever you call those fluffy bits. That'll do. This ends nice and clean. So that can be the top corner. And then all of this is going to get turned down. So put that that way up to ensure that I remember that that's the top. So like this one, the knot's right up the top there. I'm going to have that as the top. So not too worried about the base. Just going to clean this up a lot. And that'll do, that's tidy enough. So this being the top half with the knot in that end, I'll use this same measure on everything and keep this top bit square. I'll do that all the way around so I can see it when I'm turning it. Let's have a look. Yay. And I think very roughly that will do. Rather than sand that now or at all, I'm literally going to take it off and copy it. And just like that, with the use of a cardboard box, a spare piece of wood, I've got that very slightly higher because then my eye line from where I'm stood is looking at that and I'll be able to copy that like for like. Now I'll mark up with the same piece of wood like I did before, round it down and try and copy close to that. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close. That will do before I start sanding. Right, got two more of those to do. Sand it up and we end up with four little table legs. My fingers wouldn't fit very easily around the balls so I evened it all out a bit and made a very elegant kind of looking leg. I quite like that. That'll do for speed. It's only a quick silly thing anyway. So <laughs> next thing, that's actually the top. That's the pattern I like best. That's gonna be the bottom with the knot on the bottom out of the way. I haven't sanded that quite as well, but it's all fairly even. These are going to be going on here, my legs on the corners. Now, I don't know what this table is going to be used for, if anything at all, or put on her fire. I doubt it, but we might use it as a show or something to put something on. Goodness knows. So I'm going to put some strength in it. I'm going to put little dowels in that way and in that way. In order to drill the hole for it, we're going to dab a super glue on here. Say a dab. Fairly big dollop. Push that up against there. Make sure it's nice and square. Squirt some activator in there. Hopefully got down into the crack. Now I can drill down through there. Before I do that, I need some dowels. Got a lovely set of dowel cutters. The smallest one I've got in the drill press at the moment. Then I'm going to use that to put the hole through my leg.
and there's my eight dowels that need a little bit of tidying up. So I can do that on the sandpaper over the side here. And just like that, it's all super glued together. Okay, to the drill press to mimic this. I chinned all those extra, the extra bit of length off with a little old Japanese saw there. Cuts lovely and flush. And then sanded it till it's all nice and flat. It's all perfect. Happy with that. That's looking very nice. It sits flat, flat. There's no rock whatsoever, which is lovely. My four slats, I've glued those together and sanded that top, sanded the ends, sanded the sides. And all I need to do now is place that dead middle. Am I going to measure it or am I just going to do it by eye? I think I'll just do it by eye. Just put a little sheet of MDF at the back there to protect the surface. Give that half hour. Might just wipe the glue around from the outside edge with a bit of wet rag. And it'll be ready to take to Lenore. <laughs> What's she going to say? Uh, Lenore? Yeah? I've finished your table. Oh, you want any help with it? Are you okay? Uh, no, I think I can manage. All right. There you go. Oh. oh, Richard, it's perfect. It is? Yeah. Huh. Okay. <laughs> and while I'm here. Oh, that turned out rather well, didn't it? You put a little feet on it, too. I did. Still need some oil on top. You said you didn't have any food safe stuff. I haven't, so uh, tongue oil after some research is really good stuff. Um, yeah, that's worked well. Got a few coats of that, but yeah, it's a 3000 grit finish on the on the top, 400 on the back, uh, 400 on the sides. Super, that's perfect. Lovely, and now just, what is it again? It's a coffin cheese board. Coffin cheese board. It's a Four. cheese board shaped like a coffin, yes. Okay. For my charspookery.